So, okay, let's keep things rolling with a robot sketch, a real-time live showcase of super fast design of legged robots. Our presenter is June Hubley. June is a research professor at the DRB KAIST Sketch the Future Research Center with a background in mechanical engineering and industrial design from KAIST. He specializes in creative intuitive interaction techniques for VR, AR, uh, AI, sorry, AI and 3D sketching, applying them to various design fields. He has over 30 publications in top conferences like SIGGRAPH and CHI, and his work, Rapid Design of Articulated Objects, received an honorable mention at SIGGRAPH 2022. So, Professor Jun, take it away. Hi. So, have you ever wished that you could simply draw something and then it would come out of the drawing and become alive just as you draw it. Today, I'm going to show you that it is possible by drawing a spider robot in actual scale and also making it walk in real time using 3D sketching, VR, and AI. So 3D sketching is all about defining sketch planes that you want and drawing sketch curves that are projected on them. Professional designers, when they draw, their drawings and also how they draw contain a lot of 3D information. And at our group, we discovered that if we can build our interface and interactions based on those, we can get rid of almost all the icons and menus and uh, the designer can immerse in the act of drawing uh, without distraction. Okay. So you can see that uh, you might also notice that I'm using a physical tablet inside VR. This has three advantages. First of all, you can see that I can draw very quickly, very crisp, precisely without getting a sore arm, thanks to the physical support. Second, whenever I draw something, I can immediately get the realistic sense of scale and proportion of my drawing. Okay, let me just draw the foot. And third, I actually don't need a VR at all to operate my system. I can perform the same multi-touch and pen interactions on the Wacom tablet. It is just that when I put on my VR glasses, I get to utilize all the surrounding space for viewing. Let me just finish drawing the leg of my spider robot. Like so. Okay. I'm I'm going to start segmenting my robot by making these crossing gestures that tells the system which sketch curve should belong to which part. Okay, so that is my lower leg, the upper leg, the hip of the robot, and also I'm going to disable the mirrors so that I can put all the uh, sketch curves that belong to the same part, the body part. Okay. And these ones as well. All right, so I'm gonna turn the mirrors back on and start rigging the robot by defining an axis, and I'm gonna rotate my foot multiple times, which creates a trail behind that tells the system the direction and the range of motion of the hinge joint that I wanna create. Also, I can create a hinge joint that connects 
the lower leg to the upper leg. I'm gonna add another joint that connects between the hip and the upper leg. And finally, our vertical joint that connects the hip to the body. So as you can see, I was able to uh, sketch a robot, segment it, and rig it under five minutes. Oh, good. And as you can see, everything has been properly connected. Now the question is, will it work? Let's find out, okay? All right, okay, so well, what's special about the motion you're seeing right now is that it's all AI generated. We work with a roboticist who specialize in physics simulation and reinforcement learning so that each robot learns a unique pattern of walking uh, suitable for its body shape and structure. Okay, now I wanna try something new. Okay, so I hear that everyone is crazy about bipedal robots these days. So I wonder if my robot can also stand up and walk with two legs. So I'm gonna maybe close the legs and straighten the upper leg, straighten the lower leg. I need to erase the sketch plane. Straighten the lower leg. the foot, and also I will put down the arm to a comfortable position. Ooh, okay. All right, so uh, let's find out if also this will work. Take me a moment. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so yes, uh, so I think in the near future, uh, there will be a Cambrian explosion for robots. And I think the robot designers will need this kind of tool uh, to express their ideas, but also see them in action at real scale in, uh, in real time. It will be a game changer. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Jun. So, all right, folks, that wraps up the first five amazing demos. And we are going to take a short break to reset the stage for the right. next round. <laughs> <laughs>